I had vocal cord cancer, um, and so it was terribly frightening to start with. Um, and I was treated at Kingston Hospital and then referred here, and I saw Peter Reese Evans, who was absolutely fantastic, treated me like you know somebody that um, was vitally important. I felt that you know I'm he'll he'll help me. I had total faith that he would help me. I am quite claustrophobic, so it was absolutely petrifying having all this mask, and I thought I don't know how I'm going to get through all this. But you know, I talked to myself and said, "This is ridiculous. This is what you've got to do." And um, yeah, I came up here and had the radical radiotherapy, which was very frightening. But um, and I think the most frightening thing was I came in sort of not. You know, I had certain strange things where I couldn't sing in church, certain voice, you know, certain notes didn't work. And then after I'd come here, then I lost my voice totally, which actually um, was okay. I, strangely enough, it wasn't the worst thing. The worst thing was trying to go through the treatment. When the swallowing, that was another thing, which I think now, listening here, that they can actually help that swallowing. I think that's very major, because that was quite, quite petrifying when you tried to drink and you couldn't get that swallowing mechanism to work properly. Um, yeah, that, as I say, I think that was the most frightening thing, really. Um, and obviously, once you finish the treatment, it actually gets a lot worse before it gets better. So there's that period where you think, am I ever going to speak again? But it wasn't, as I say, that wasn't the worrying thing. It was really just making sure that, you know, I could swallow. And I was very lucky. I had great supportive friends who made me soup. And that's what I lived on, soup and ice cream and no flavouring. And I was very lucky, again, because my taste has come back totally. Um, and I would say it's really just a question of, I, I don't swallow as well. And I think what, what you're doing here is absolutely brilliant. Hopefully that will not be such a major problem for all the people coming through in the future. Well, I was so overwhelmed by everything and the support I'd had here and I was having my big 60th birthday party and I thought, what do I want? Well, I don't actually want anything. What I'd really like is people to support um, Oracle Cancer. So in my birthday invitation, I said, please no presents, but if you'd like to donate to Oracle, that would be absolutely fantastic. And people did and I think we ended up with £3,000 or something and it was lovely and that I was terribly happy to do that. If there's ever another occasion, I would do exactly the same because the most important thing is you've got your life and you're able to celebrate your birthday with your family and your friends. There's nothing else that's of any importance really. When you've been put in that situation, you realise that anything material is completely, completely unimportant.